Ah, this is bad. So you're together? Eh? Who is the other one you work with? Because I see you doing the same. God. You're together. <laughs> you're doing the same, you guys. You look the same. <laughs> is that that one is short, but you're tall, but you're, hey, you nearly even kick me. Hey. <laughs> ah, they do the same. <laughs> hey, Zikapota. 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 Hey, Greetings to everyone. Uh, I'd like to, first of all, to greet our parents in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, my name is Elijah. I'm from Limpopo. Limpopo. But in ministry, I'm in Bronger Spirit. So, now for five years, I was I was sick. I was sick. So I tried to pray. Uh, but nothing was happening. Uh, I even went to doctors. Nothing was happening. So I told the doctor I have to do the operation. My doctor never put your good soldier to get the operation because in a canally a hole in my heart. Karoke, we can only show a more pillow. I've traveled, kiss a page, even outside the country, low to a gant like a mogai, praying to God to heal me. Get up a little modimo ban puddish, and nothing was happening. I was in the boss necessity. So things begin to go down. Did you just come away fast? Because they told me if I don't do the operation, I'm going to die. So I told my wife, I said, Ah, I have tried. Uh, my wife said, Ah, I have tried. So which means now I'm going to die. It's very painful because you know you are a pastor at that time. And uh, it happened that. Around 12 o'clock when I was sleeping, I had a, a dream. Uh, I was sleeping. When I was Kilora, the apostle of God. Kilora Didi. So they said to me, Barogonna. Why are you crying in the dream? They said, Why are you crying? I did not answer. And they said, Don't give up. Follow me. Then when I wake up, I Katusha, my wife, I said, Ah, can you really apostle Makananis? I get so I woke my wife up and I said, I dreamt apostle says, Makananis. Apostle Makananis. She said, Apostle Makananis. I said yes. I said yes. Are bari lemoen. And she said, What did he say to then you? Then I I explained to her. Then we prayed about it. Remember, remember, I have been everywhere. So during the day, when I was sleeping again, something like the fruits. I dreamed him holding fruits. They came to me again. They say, "Why are you crying?" Then I did not answer. And they said, follow me. So I told my wife, I said, no. I, I have to go. Because the last time I went to Charis, I was still in Tembisa. Maybe so I went twice. When I checked in the internet, when I checked on the internet, I found that it's in Midrand. They said, my wife, I'm going to go there. Then my wife said, just go. I came here. I remember the day when I arrived there. I arrived here around 7 o'clock. There was another man there at the gate. He said to me, Do you, There was a man who said, But it's Did too you early. come to church? It's too early. He said to me, It's too early. Because I didn't know what time was the service. But I was not even. Getting tired. 
Because every time when I sit down, the dream is coming. So I came. The service was so nice. I started to feel like. It's like. But that thing is like it's normal. It was as if a load I'm has still, been I'm, taken I'm off. Feel, I'm, still feeling, I'm still feeling the pain. But I was so happy. As if I'm already healed. Then I went home. Labrador, I came. On Wednesday, Then they prayed for us. Then Apostle touched me. Apostle Bangkwata. Then I went home. I, you know, I forgot originally pain. When I was at home, I had forgotten. Then I told that my I wife, I said, uh uh-uh. uh. I'm no longer feeling that pain. Then he said, You don't feel that pain. Because sometimes when you feel that, that pain, when it comes, I, I collapse. Even in the church sometimes. I was collapsed, but no one will see that. Because now will know now is coming i will go down people would be, will be thinking that uh, maybe the pastor is praying but me i'm no i'm down then i will wait for it you know i will even cry and say i'm a pastor of these people but look at me now and after the church, I will go to God and say, What is happening? So, last time, uh, the previous Wednesday, they prayed for us. It's when I feel there is no pain at all. Then I said, Uh uh. I cannot just say I'm healed. I have to go to see the same doctor to confirm. When I arrived to that doctor, he said to me, did you manage to do the operation? I said, no. He said, but you are still alive. You know, he was so troubled. It's like, this person is in charge of the but he's still alive. Then I said, no, I, I, want, to be dead. I want you to check me again. But he said, but you know. Then I said, please. I'm coming from somewhere. And they prayed for me. And the pain is no longer there. And the pain is no longer there. Then and then he put me in the machine. He was so surprised. Even me, I was so surprised. Amen. When, when I look at when I look at my heart, where there was a hole. It's just there is not that hole anymore. So, when I was so happy, I called my wife. I said, ah, I have to tell my wife this. Then my wife said, ah, are you sure? I said, yes, I'm telling you the truth. Because the time when this thing was starting, I was in the the time when this thing was starting, I was going to do a crusade. Somewhere there around Bronco Spirit, I received a call. So, somebody called me. So when I received that call, it's like somebody who came to It was They just say Elijah. Elijah. Where are you? Umokai. Then I They said Umokai. come to Bronco Spirit Town. Then I went there. Because do you know when this call, when when even when they called me. It's like in my heart I was refusing. I said I won't go. But there was something that was defeating me, pushing me to go there. When I arrived there, I found four men. The first two were white. 
And this one in Elimutonga. Omwe he was a Tsonga man. And this one was a Zulu guy. And the last one was a Zulu man. I was surprised because I don't know these people. So the place more than invited longo thing nearly a stairs. More where I was invited, it was in a restaurant in stairs. So they welcomed me. They said, "We are here to see you." Bang. I said, "But I don't know you." They said, "You will know us." Barot la retseba. I ne radula fasi. And we said. And then they. I cannot just say them, but they said to me, We are here to bless you. They spoke a lot of things and they also said, We are here to bless you. I said, You are here to bless me. So, when they say that I want to ask a lot of things, they will change the topic. So, they say, No, even as we are the men of God, so we are the prophet. I said, Okay, no problem. I said, No problem. So, they start to prophesy me. When we were talking about tomorrow, prophesy. They told me the way to me ministry thing. They explained to me how I started all the, the ministry. Trades. And everything and how I got married. Even my date of birth. They also told me my date. They say, of you birth. see, even as we are the prophet. So, but to the phone which I want, the ministry which I want. They say, look at this one is my ministry. That one in Pointe Chalena, the ministry. Their ministry is so big. They now started showing me their ministries, and their ministries were big. They said, we well, God has sent us here to bless you. I said, okay, no problem. I said, no problem. So they asked another one. This uh, a Tsonga guy. Oh, the Tsonga men asked another one. They said, go to the car. And bring the blessing of this guy. So this man when I was coming, he was carrying box. Natural box. Yadi banana. Of of bananas. So when I look at the book, I said, these people they are here to bless me with bananas. When I looked at the book, I said, but you are better on show for just the banana. Okay, no problem. When you were talking. When the box of bananas remember more restaurant, table. we are not in a secret place. We are in a restaurant. So everyone is here. Every everybody and was doing what one of our member. Is the, is the one who is serving us food there. Now people will see me, it's like I'm going to sell the banana and something. And so when banana. they open what I saw there, it was this box is not the banana, it's money inside. So I begin to be afraid there. I start to ask many questions. But the started explaining what actually brought them. So they them. say, ah, don't worry. There are a lot of people who have helped. So even you, we are here to help you. You know, when they are speaking like this, another one on Another one he said, got there is this, this guest house. One of the guest house which, a in Rastimbek, a, which is being sold in Rastimbek. Who will help you to buy that, that one. But I'm talking about which God what I was asking them which God sent you to me to give me this so they said you don't want to be rich you don't want to be rich so I just tell them that I'm not saving God to be rich then they keep quiet and they, these white guys they start to speak now never to back they were holding a bag. And they say, Elijah, but Elijah, don't be a fool. God has remembered you. Now is your time. Hey. So, <laughs> so, I will jump other bolela. When we were talking, something like a perfume. They started taking out something like a perfume. And a little sip as out up. And a soap to bathroom. They said, if you are going to use these things, that money that we are giving you now, it will never be finished. So I was so afraid now. Because I have never encountered them. I always hear of such things, but I've never encountered them. So I said, uh-uh. 
I said no. I told them I said uh -uh, I'm not, not, not going to be the part of this thing. So they introduced this thing they introduced the mummy water thing more. we have been sent by mummy water to you. So they said in their churches and because when I was telling them, I said, I'm only using the name of Jesus. They say, even us when we are in church, we are using Jesus. But we know whom we are calling. They said, even you don't worry, nothing will change. Even when you arrive in your church, you begin to say the name of Jesus. But it will be my water. It will be my water. It will be my water. Then rapalela na ona mo. And then we disagreed there. Is when I was I was asking them, "Licheri kai di number jaka." I asked them, "What did you get my numbers?" They said, "Remember, we are the prophets." Barakopola remember we are prophet. They said to me, "Ere laela na." When we were now living. But don't worry. Baruska we will. The time when you need this money. Na kwa au njaka chelete. We will know. Rotote. And we will call you. And we will call you. I said, "How?" How will you call me? And they said, how did we call you? Then I said, okay, let me go. Okay, let me leave. Take it to mine. Then I to mine. And they also left. So, Motiling on my way is when I felt I was thriving. So, that's when I felt like somebody is piercing me with like a knife and my spirit is living. Then, at least I managed to take, pull the car off, over. I was thinking that it's like, you know, when somebody out of a tip so. You know, when somebody is piercing you with, was, was, you with I, a knife. I was feeling that pain. I, I was, and I collapsed there. Then, later on, is when I wake up. I only find out I'm still alive. But in my heart, I knew that it's because of where I came from. But to tell you the truth, since then, I begin to face suffering after suffering. Especially when it comes to money. It was a problem. If it's a more level even when my if somebody wants to give me money, I will just tell my wife and no, you must take that money. Because I know if he can fit like a modi atlenchak. Because I knew if I can touch it my by my hands, it will be a problem. I start to suffer. Everything begin to go down. Even in ministry, everything begin to go down. I lost everything. But I keep on pushing. Said the Lord is with me. You know, I begin to ask myself for it, but because I did not agree with those people. Why it's like a Why it's like I'm being punished for something I didn't do? Because it was so tough. But I really want to appreciate God. It's only these dreams that changed my life. And I want to appreciate God. Amen. Amen.